I recently got asked this question, how do you get the vocal noise out of your playing? I'll give you a demonstration of what I mean. You're playing along and then suddenly you'll hear like this sort of talking or singing or humming noise in your throat or you'll feel it more likely. So you'll hear uh. So that is actually a pretty bad demonstration because I'm so out of this kind of habit. I don't do this sort of thing anymore, although it has happened in my playing in the past. The reason this happens and you get sort of uh, noises as you play is because you have a constriction in here when you're playing. Now, this is not like the end of the world or anything like this. Playing the flute is a constant progression of removing all sorts of restrictions out of your body. If you didn't have any restrictions and you had perfect playing, you would be like the world's finest flute player. And it's always a step-by-step -step, um, journey, I guess, of getting a little bit better every time. So this is not the end of the world, but this is very exciting for you because there is a way to get rid of it. When you're playing, if you hear these noises, it means that you're starting to tense up in your throat. It is just like talking. So you're basically starting to talk <laughs> while you play. That sounds weird. It's not weird. Talking is normal. We do it every day. It, and you as a human, as a talking human, are very good at it. You're an expert at it. You are an expert at engaging these vocal cords here or vocal folds as they're sometimes called. You are an expert at it. So it's no wonder that it happens so easily for you as you play. So the way to get rid of this noise is to do a little exercise that shows you how to relax this part of your throat. When you breathe in and do it now, I want you to tell me which part of your mouth, tongue, throat, roof of mouth gets cold. Which one has the air hitting it in other words? So take a breath when you play the flute, play a few notes. And tell me what got cold. Feel free to pause the video, try it out and come back to it. <clears throat> okay, now wherever in your mouth got cold, whether it was your tongue, your the roof of your mouth, the roof of your mouth but far back, wherever it got cold, I want you to this time make it colder even further back in your throat. The aim is to get it cold at the back of your throat, as far back as you possibly can. So do the same thing, play a few notes. Breathe in and aim for coldness way back at the back of your throat. It will feel like it's right down here. Try it a few times and see how you go. This is opening up your throat. Okay, so then the next step, once you can do that, is do it a few times in a row while playing. So choose an easy scale that you don't have to think about. And each time you breathe, think far back. Okay, the next step, now that you've opened up your throat, is to keep it open while you're playing. So you've managed to open it while you're breathing in. Now let's keep it open while you're blowing out. So I want you to imagine that position that you've got when you're breathing in, that openness, that free flow of air that you can feel. And I want you to keep that position when you play a note. This is easiest on a long-ish note rather than lots of notes. So choose any note. I'll choose an A. Breathe in. Feel it cold down here and keep that position as you blow out. Even through the note, see if you can feel your throat and everything in your mouth opening up to get a more, what's a more resonant cavity, but more to the point where removing restrictions in your throat. And feel that openness. It should feel kind of like you're, like it feels sort of lower. And that lower feeling is that you're starting to relax all down here. Okay. <laughs> that is how you get rid of the vocal noises in your throat. I had a flute teacher once. This is one of the teachers in Sydney that I learned from. She was amazing. She said she had a theory about why flute players have this noise. She identified it as somewhere in your brain you're wanting to sing along with the playing now this is a really good theory 
if when you find this happen to your playing, if you feel yourself getting into the emotion of the music, if you're feeling some kind of emotion when you play, when this happens, I reckon her theory is right, that you're feeling the kind of emotion of the music and your vocal cords naturally want to engage, to, to express yourself, to sing along, to speak along with the music. Now, it's a really nice theory, isn't it, in that you're engaging with the emotion of the playing. But if you don't want that noise there, and you don't want it there if you want to be a good flute player, I've just shown you how to open up everything and get rid of that tension, which will make you a better flute player, and you will be able to express the music through your playing, and you won't need to engage your voice. Okay, see you later. Do you want more flute playing tips like that? I mean things that make a really big difference to your flute playing straight away. Well, my name is Jane, by the way, Jane Kavanagh from the Flute Teacher School. I live in Sydney, Australia, as you can tell maybe from my accent. If you want a free little course that teaches you exactly that, specific techniques to get you instantly better at the flute, then just put in your email address in the link below or on this screen and I will send you some free stuff about how to get your sound so much better and a whole bunch of other things that really make a instant difference.